How can an organism smaller than a grain of rice survive the destruction of a nuclear explosion and the vacuum of space? What if the secret to surviving the apocalypse fits on the head of a pin? Meet the tardigrade, a creature so small you could fit 2,000 of them across a single coin. Also known as the water bear, it's nature's ultimate survivor. Tardigrades are ancient, over 500 million years old, appearing long before dinosaurs. Their evolutionary path is still a mystery, but their resilience helped them survive every mass extinction Earth has ever faced. They've been found in volcanoes, frozen tundras, the deepest ocean trenches, and even on mountaintops. They're everywhere, in your backyard moss, your garden soil, even on your rooftop. Cute, but unstoppable. With tiny needle-like stylets, tardigrades pierce algae and moss cells, sucking out nutrients like microscopic vampires. Some even hunt other tiny animals. When food is scarce, tardigrades can simply shut down their metabolism and perform a trick called cryptobiosis. They curl into a dry capsule known as a ton. Some have been revived after over 30 years frozen solid and walked away like nothing happened. In 2007, European scientists sent tardigrades into space aboard the Photon M3 mission. They faced the vacuum, cosmic rays, and solar radiation. No spacesuits, no problem. They came back alive, making them the first animals to survive the harshness of space itself. Their secret? A combination of DNA repair, cryptobiosis, and a special protein called DSUP, short for damage suppressor, that wraps around their DNA like bubble wrap for life itself, shielding it from radiation damage. When the environment's right, some species mate and then lay intricate eggs, tiny works of art, from which new water bears emerge. But certain tardigrades don't even need that. They can just clone themselves meaning females produce eggs that develop without fertilization. In 2016, scientists put tardigrade DSUP into human cells in the lab. The cells became up to 40% more resistant to x-rays. That means tardigrades have a genetic force field. If they can survive space, maybe life elsewhere doesn't need Earth-like conditions. While we build bunkers and dream of Mars, tardigrades thrive where we'd last a second. Maybe they're a glimpse into life's future, resilient, adaptable, unstoppable.